Hello and welcome to Metro Story Writer's Backstage Pass. It's blooper real time again. Now I know last time I only managed to get bloopers from one review, but I've been building up bloopers from all sorts of different projects from the past year or so, though for some bizarre reason all but a couple of them were from Mattu's lines. So here's the bloopers. Hello and welcome to year four of Mattu's Random Reviews. Today I'm going to be some where we each list our favorite movie or movies, and someone else would do a review or uh, uh, uh. The following video contains bright and flashing lights as well as opinions. If you are photosensitive, sleepy, have migraine issues and such, and or can't handle opinions, you probably shouldn't be watching random videos on the internet. For your discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to year 4 of Matthew's Random Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. You see, over on the Manic Expression forums, the cartoon physicist came up with an event where we'd each list our favorite movie or movies and someone else would do a review on it or one of them. I went with one of the favorites of an admin named Les. What did I pick? Well, let's just say that we're about to have a close encounter. I went with one of the favorites of an admin named Les. This meme is dead. This meme is dead. This meme is dead. All content used in this video is used for satirical and informative purposes. This video is in no way a the following video is meant solely to criticize and hopefully I am way too close to my microphone, aren't I? Yes, and only your Pikachu. In Dragon Quest Monsters, you are at. No, but I think I've seen your door in the rift. I meant to. Uh, sure, but first let's meet up in, uh, for, I can't do it. Reminding old viewers and telling new ones that they know very little about gold dragon culture. Of course, them offering to go is not met with accident. Uh, dang it. And Celestia reminds them to be discreet, which is something that a rarity is all too happily developed. Garble, on the other hand, seems to be a bit bitter and wants revenge. Spike gets knocked into the water right off the bat, seeing as he can't fly, he wound up working in his favor as he can't. So, so, no. Anyway, after Spike saves it. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, I was so convincing. You, re uh, you really weren't. Today I'll be following up last year's review with another heart's worth thing in E for e the. La. The episode be. Really? The episode begins with a musical number right off the bat, unsurprisingly at this point, I suppose. This led to her dropping her evil ways and the main six as a secondary character. Wait, no. There's a lot more to say here, but that basically sums things up. Some things, sums things up. But Twilight responds by telling, Twi uh, telling Starlight that... Oh boy, this is quite the lesson to tell the kids. Snowfall thinks that Heartswarming Eve is a... Oh, no, wait, I said that already. She begrudgingly lets Snow Dash go at home early, and she starts going into a Disney villain-style musical number about how much she's planning to get rid of Heartswarming. Wait, how much she's planning to get rid of... Starlight thinks Snowfall's plan is a bit express excessive. The spirit drags a reluctant Snowfall into the past with another music... The, the spirit... Ah. The spirit drags a reluctant snowfall into the past with another musical number. Snowfall's heart begins to waver as the spirit returns to the present where it's still... Or, wait, no. Or, the spirit tries to explain that it's brought... Back in the past, we see the heartwarming party Snow Dash went to, where she complains about Snowfall's work ethic. Not which yet... Were, Back in the past at the heartwarming party Snow Dash went to, where she complains about Snowfall's work ethic, which the other ponies seem to care oddly a lot about, as they boo the- Wait, this syntax isn't right. Wendigos? No! Spoiler! Oh, damn it, can't- Anyway, the spirit reveals that she's not there to reveal what is in the future. Uh, and I do not involve Scootaloo and Pinchy here. Backstage, the main six are performing the backstage. The main six are preparing to perform a play. And Commander Hurricane's 
gung-ho attitude winds up slowing them down. And Princess Palatinum, Pokemon is, was, and will be renamed for the foreseeable future. And there was no remake of Blue and Version. Red and Green meet outside the lab instead of like in the games. Uh, wait. Professor prevents, presents them with each with a Pokedex. The youngster is rightfully offended by this, but tells Red where to catch one anyway. Red arrives around. So, as I alluded to earlier, now you may have already been aware of this, but some long ago animating Pokemon the movie Black and General War and Wharf, Picard receives news that the Borg destroyed a colony. And then Log exposits that they have. Picard receives news that the. <sighs> However, the Enterprise crew, now crewing the Sovereign Class USS Enterprise E, the new Sovereign Class USS Enterprise E, with the Enterprise D having been destroyed in Star Trek Generations, the Enterprise D having been destroyed in Star Trek Generations, and Worf having been reassigned to Deep Space Nine. And Worf, having been reassigned to Deep Space Nine, has been ordered by Vice Admiral Hayes, the male one, to patrol the neutral zone. To patrol the neutral zone in case the Romulans try to take advantage of the situation. Which would be really stupid of them considering the Borg are mutual enemies. Which would be really stupid of them considering the Borg are mutual enemies. The male one to patrol the neutral zone. It's the most streamlined design of a blah, 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 because Starfleet doesn't trust Picard due to his previous six. Among the fleet is Deep Space Nine's escort ship, the Defiant, with wars on board the war. War, 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 why can't I make the F sound? World of Warcraft patch update 7.1.5 hit this month, although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled the astral, blah. Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully, what the hell? Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled ma- Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully, Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterful. Ah. Do I say that with this accent? Although there was a bugbear. Really? Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully. Masterfully. There was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully by the unlikely group that defeated Queen Lucristalis last time. Blah. Although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully, although there was an incident with a bugbear that was handled masterfully by the unlikely group that defeated Queen Chrysalis last time. Back over to you, Matthew. Matthew.